Hello everyone, I'm making this guide as an update to last guide, because NFC cards as Skylanders has gotten so much easier, and I want to show you guys how to do it so you don't struggle with errors, because there are no errors to be struggling with this in this video. It's a simple, very easy, streamlined way of making Skylanders from dump files, and it's like the easiest it's ever been. So I want to make an updated guide and show you guys how to do it. Now the things I'm using in this video are the ACR122U. If you don't have it, uh, then I'm sorry. You're going to have to look for another guide because this is the card reader that I'm covering in this guide. It's the only card reader I have and the only card reader I'll be able to confidently cover uh, with because I, I know how to work with this and I've used it for a while. Um, you're also going to need uh, specific cards with a specific memory amount on it uh with um block zero writable um i will leave the specs all the specs details in the description uh leave uh, some card packs down below uh so you guys can download or not download but buy the right cards so you don't buy the wrong cards like i did in the past um because if you buy the wrong cards they will not work and yeah, you'll be able to write data to it, but you won't be able to write the entire Skylander onto the card and it will not show up on the portal. But there is a way that you can check if you have cards and you write a Skylander to them, uh, there's a way that we'll be able to check if those Skylanders wrote properly and if they have shown up on the Skylander portal on the computer. So you don't have to plug it in, uh, start up your Wii, Wii U, Xbox, PlayStation, just to figure out if it works. Um, and... Uh, I also, one of the errors I made in the last video was um, I gave out faulty Skylander dumps. Um, now this was from other sources. Um, and let's, let's say for example, the error is when my Spyro died, my Whirlwind also died because the values in the card, uh, so, some values are the same and it recognizes the Skylander is dead when it's never even entered the level. So um that is something i'll be showing you guys in this video something a way to make your own clean unique dumps that will not have this issue so yapping session is over guys let's get right into the video so this is the the card reader drivers Th this is all one folder i'm going to be linking in the description by the way so you guys can download it's super easy you don't have to download multiple things like in the, uh, in the past video i'm going to make it super easy for you guys i've lumped everything into this one folder now for the card reader drivers this uh consists as uh, acs drivers or acr drivers whatever and then the lib usbk skylander source is a secret i'm gonna show you guys later software is the uh mifair reborn or whatever it's called uh yet another mifair tool which uh, is so much easier to use and then the validity check is a uh, skylander gui which will allow us to plug in uh, plug our portal into our computer and uh, check our Skylander NFC to see if it actually shows up properly. So I'll show you guys everything you need to do in order to make a Skylander card. First, we're gonna go into card reader drives, ACS, set up the EXE, click yes, click English, okay, or whatever language you speak, uh, click next, next, install, and that should be good. Now what you will do is unplug your card reader and plug it back in once that's done go to libusbk and it's changed a little bit since last time i made the video click next 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 install and now after this there's going to be a new window click 3070 click next show all devices i already have it installed but it's the same thing when it's installed click acr 122u click next next and then finish and install drivers now now a window will pop up again, you'll click next, and your download is finished. Now one thing I've noticed, you can unplug it and plug it back in if you want for peace of mind. But one thing I've noticed is um, when I install the LibUSBK driver, my light doesn't work on my card reader. Now that's okay, we can read the card to make sure that the card still works and that the card, re or that the card works obviously, but we can press read to make sure that the card reader works and is actually identifying the card and is reading and doing its job so the skylander source what we are using to get our dumps is none other than the dolphin emulator 
because uh, a while ago they added a new tool called the emulated USB devices, or this is a tool set, the emulated USB devices tool set, and it has a Skylander portal tool. Now what you do is you click emulate Skylander portal. Uh, first of all, copy where your dumps are going to, because you're going to need this later. Um, I recommend not changing it. I recommend keeping it the same. And search up whatever Skylander you want. I'm going to do Sunburn because I did Sunburn in last video and Sunburn is awesome. Um, now double click and it says Skylander not found in this collection. Create new file. Create yes. This just created a fresh new dump. Fresh new generated dump. So uh, completely unique to you. Now when that's done, when you've gotten all the Skylanders that you want to, click close. And then... Um, just, um, I already have it pinned, but what you're going to do is you're going to click on the address bar, control V and enter, oh, enter. There we go. Uh, now if you don't see this name extension right here, click view and click file name extensions. Now you see that it's a Skylander folder. You're like, Mal, this isn't a dump. Well, let me tell you that this file is a dump in this it's not a dump. It's a dump. It's a dumpy. In disguise. The old school just changed the extension name method works. I'm telling you, it works. You created a sky file, just rename it to dump. And now it's a dumpy file. And that works. Nothing else to explain here other than it just works. Now what you can do is right click and click pin to quick access so it shows up right here and you can get to it every single time and make it super easy for you. Now that we're done with that, we can go to the software yet, or software now. Yet another Mifro tool. My brain's running too fast. Now you take your card, put it on the card reader. It's not gonna beep like in last video because with the libusbk um, driver, it, for whatever reason, deactivates the light, which is fine. You can click identify to make sure that the card is being read. Now, this is a Gen 1A uh, UID changeable uh, sector zero unlocked. Now, this is good. Um, click read to read the card and you see that it reads to block zero. Which is awesome. Which, I mean, the important thing is that it needs to write to block zero. Uh, but it said card read successfully and it saved the dump, which isn't important. Um, but now the thing is you go to write, go to select dump, go to Skylanders, and go to sunbird.dump. Yes, the dot sky file that we changed to dot dump is going to work. Click open, click write dump, and it's as simple as that. Manufacture a block written successfully, dump written successfully. Okay, now I dare you to watch the last video and see how long that took. Compared to how long this took, 10 seconds. Insanely short. Everything is already written and there's no infinite read glitch or whatever. <clears throat> now, if you want to reset this card and take Sunburn off, you just press reset and it'll do a whole thing. Um, yeah. If you reset the card, all progress will be lost. You don't want to continue. Yes. No resetting. No no closing and opening the um, the application again as well. Just keep it open uh, with as many Skylanders as you want to dump. This card reset successfully. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> Everything is just reset. No Skylander on it. Now, uh, what you can do is, if you want, you can identify again, read again, write again, and uh, yeah, everything is just written again. Sunburn. Awesome. Um, now, with that done, it, it's crazy how to, it's crazy how this card already has a Skylander on it, and this was just a fraction of the video. It, it has gotten so much easier since the last time I made my last video. Now to go to validity check, <clears throat> this you don't even have to do this step. This is just uh, to check 
to show you guys that the Skylander is written to the card and that it shows up successfully. Go to Skylander's UI tool, go plug in your Skylander portal. Whoops, I, I didn't even know that it closed when you unplug your portal. But uh, go to Skylander's UI tool, put your card on the portal, and look at that, sunburn. Sunburn in the flesh. Now, if you guys want me to show you <clears throat> more proof, I can reset the card and put another Skylander on it. So let's go software. Actually, we have to go first to Dolphin. Back on Dolphin. Go to Tools, Emily USB Devices, Skylander Portal. Now let's go Double Trouble, because he's my favorite. Now double click, create new file, close that. And once you have your Emulate Skylander Portal checked, um, it should already, it should be checked for the rest of the time so you don't have to redo that stuff. Now go to Skylanders, uh, change your dot sky to dot dump. Yep, I'm sure I want to change that. Now go to software, yet another Mifair tool. Now I'm going to reset. Let me unplug and replug my portal so that software closes out. Um, so I'm going to put my card on the card reader, identify the card, read the card, oh, select the dump, double trouble, write the dump. That literally took 10 seconds. If I wouldn't have messed up, that, that would have literally took 10 seconds, which is absolutely insane. Now go back to validity check, Skylanders UI tool, and put that card on, and... It's double trouble. Like what? The quickest it's ever been. And the easiest it's ever been. So yeah. Um I feel I feel bad because uh I wasn't able to have an actual like bonding experience with you guys over the last video because of how long the reading and writing took. Uh but yeah, that's literally all. That is it. That's it for the guide. Go have fun making Skylanders. Believe it or not, it is this short and this easy. Again, if you guys have any errors, uh, let me know down in the comments below. And um, I will do my best to answer you guys. And if um, A reminder, obviously, the last guide's obsolete. Um, go check out my Twitch and my, uh, I mean, my YouTube. I'm already on YouTube. Your, my YouTube is here. If this video helped you, please hit that subscribe button and like. And uh, comment down below if there's any videos you'd like to see from me, Skylanders related. Or uh, anything related. Any guides? Because I'm always down to make a good guide. Um, yeah, Twitch is in the description if you're interested. I've been playing Skylanders lately. And uh, if you have questions for uh, NFC cards, I'm on stream. You can ask me right there. I'm always available to answer you guys because I usually have uh, no more than five viewers. Uh, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this guide was useful. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.